you. It's wonderful, as always, uh, to be with you, and thank you for bringing us together, Prime Minister. So good to see you, and my friend Joseph uh, as well. Very good to have you here. Uh, Prime Minister, I want to start by thanking you for your leadership and also your partnership. Uh, it means a lot, and I think it um, sets a very strong foundation for what we can do together uh, going into the future. Uh, we are here to reaffirm transatlantic support for democratic, prosperous future for the Armenian people and a more integrated and a more peaceful South Caucasus region. Uh, we share the Armenian people's vision for the future. Uh, we want Armenia to take its place as a strong, independent nation at peace with its neighbors, connected to the region and the world. The United States and the European Union both want to be partners in this effort, and I think uh, today is evidence of that. Um, we have to harness this moment of choice for the Armenian people and for its leaders. The United States is investing in efforts that are aligned with the Prime Minister's governance and economic reforms. Uh, we plan to provide over $65 million in assistance from our FY23 budget funds. That's up more than 50 percent from two years ago. We're committed to further growing our support for Armenia's democratic and economic resilience with investments for food security, digital infrastructure, diversification of energy, uh, diversification of trade partners, and other priorities that the Prime Minister has set. And we will continue to support the 100,000 ethnic Armenians displaced from Nagorno-Karabakh. Uh, this is central to Armenia's long-term stability and prosperity, as well as its regional security. Uh, and we're supporting efforts to integrate people into the economy, into society, including via access to housing, jobs, education. For Armenia, regional integration is a key to security and to prosperity. And so we support the ideas, Mr. Prime Minister, that are at the heart of your Crossroads of Peace proposal. Um, we, we see a more integrated South Caucasus with new transportation routes, energy cooperation, telecommunications. Um, this will promote uh, diversified economies, expanded opportunity, and it will bolster peace and reconciliation efforts. There is a powerful future with a region that is increasingly integrated that will benefit people in every connected country. And the United States, the European Union, want to help you build that. So we, too, look very much forward to a productive discussion today um, and then carrying on from today, doing the work of strengthening this partnership and strengthening Armenia. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Madam 